When we talk about the doping control process for athletes, there are five phases involved. Step one is athlete selection, which is in two phases. Either in competition selection, which is mandatory for all podium finishers, or out of competition selection that is random, either catching the athletes at home, at training, or anywhere else that the athlete indicated he would be. The other four steps are notification, sample collection, sample analysis, and results management. Kenya has not established the doping control process, but will soon have a sample collection centre in Eldoret for Kenyan and Ethiopian athletes. They have to look for a, 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 what to call um, a premises. Either it's going to be at the Rivaral Hospital, whether it is going to be at a, one of the private hospitals, or they are going to hire a, a, a separate facility. In an ideal situation like the Olympic Games, everything happens in one place. Athletes give blood and urine samples that are analysed and results given in one place. London 2012 had a centre sponsored by Glaxo Smithline and run by the King's College of London. In the Kenyan case, an accredited laboratory will mean samples need not be sent out of the country for analysis. For an athlete to be really be discovered that his blood system is changing, you have to have six blood deaths. And you cannot do it and be sending it to Germany or South Africa. Athletics Kenya chairman says the greatest problem in Kenya is civic education on doping. The medical commission is working out. I think in very soon they'll come up with a document that will be handed to every athlete. There are more than 2,000 banned substances, some that are found in prescribed medication. Our athletes don't know what medicines they are prohibited from taking and some don't even ask. As a result, some discoveries are shocking. A substance that is only used by pregnant women to make them relax when they are releasing babies. But now this one is, uh, is found in some of our men. We don't know where the problem is. <laughs> Athlete samples, either urine or blood for analysis, are divided into sample A and sample B, where the B sample is used to confirm the findings of the A sample if anything is found. The doping control process for all athletes, whether in football, athletics or rugby, is the same across the world. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports.